Okay, guys, let's talk to all the naysayers out there. Science doesn't lie. And the iris of a person's eye is more accurate than a fingerprint. As I said, science doesn't lie. Summer has a speck in the outer right side of her right eye that has it's there in every picture that you can see that part of her eye and if you look close enough into the picture of the little girl that's been going around that i showed earlier it's in that right eye they're in the same exact spot and as you can look on these pictures you can see it it's in the same exact spot yes she has hazel blue eyes so sometimes her eyes are blue, sometimes they're greenish blue. And sometimes they look different because of the lighting and the time of day the, where the pictures were taken. But that little dot that's on the side of her eye can never, it will never change. And it's so, um, so just her and her imprint. That even if she had an identical twin, that twin would not have that in their eye. Now, as a, you're going to look on the screen and it tells you, this is the likelihood of two people having the same identical spots in their eyes or irises. It's according to this link, probability of two irises having identical patterns is 1 in 10 to the 78th power. That's how iris scanners identify the identity of people. Now, think of it this way. <clears throat> if you take 10 to the power of 2, that's 10 times 10 is 100. And then you would do times 10, which would be 1,000 times 10 would be 10,000, times 10 would be 100,000, and so on. Just 10 to the 10th power, guys, is 10 billion. Now, we're talking 10 to the 78th power. That number is astronomical. That's the likelihood of two people having the same identical mark in their iris. That's bigger chances than, I mean, than the odds of winning the lottery are more likely than two people having the same identical spots in the same place in their iris. Like I said before, science doesn't lie. Yes, there's a possibility that I could be wrong. But I, along with another person, happen to think this, we honestly truly believe this is summer. And when you take into consideration that the person who has this on their profile on Facebook, one, lives in Wisconsin, two, has family and connections to Arkansas, where the little girl was seen just a little bit back at that motel. Two, this woman is friends with Grandis and Candace both on Facebook, along with numerous, numerous other people like Randy Clark and, and just tons of other people that Grandis and Candace are friends with on Facebook. They're all intermingled. And I have some more news, but, or more information, should I say, but it, it's going to have to wait until the next video. But it's very interesting, very interesting information, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. For the naysayers that don't believe it, that's fine. That's on you. 
but this should be enough to make TBI and FBI stand up and take a look and say, hold up. We need to find this child. Not make a phone call and say, hey, is that her? No. No, they need to go and physically examine this child, have DNA testing done. And I don't care who it is that says, oh, I'm the mother. If that mother has this child and it really is her child, then show us the pictures of this child and let us see for ourselves. This is not Summer Wells. That's all I've got to say. Say prayers for this whole case and everybody involved. Until next time, guys.